Of course, you can't forget about SpongeBob and Patrick. Hey, Patrick, are you mad? Yeah! Spirit's open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, today we are in Salem, Massachusetts, about to go into this spirit Halloween back here. It has been three, maybe four years since I've been here. There are actually two spirit stores in this area in Salem, and the last time I was here, I was in the RV, and it's so huge. Like, look at how packed this whole parking lot here is. Even though there's a Target right over there, there was nowhere to park. So I actually had to park around the back of the building, and I thought for sure I I was gonna be towed. I wasn't, and this time we brought the car. Let's go in, Spirit Halloween, number one in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh my gosh, look at this. They still have these stickers on the ground from COVID. That is hilarious. All right, let's go on in. Oh, wrong side. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it is so very spooky in here because it is so very quiet. In here okay there we go now the music goes on I was curious so I went up to the desk and I asked why it was so quiet they just had forgotten to turn the music on so here we are guys store number one in Salem Massachusetts I actually am going to be going around Salem and Marblehead today looking at some locations from Hocus Pocus and Hubie Halloween but first and foremost I wanted to make sure that I stopped at these two stores and made videos for you guys and look at this guys I think for for a first this season, we don't have Ghostface or the Ringmaster up front. We actually have Nibbles over here and Cotton Candy Dan. I have never seen a setup like this in a store yet this season. A lot of times you'll see Ghostface over here and then just like a random animatronic over here. So this is one thing that makes going to a lot of different stores very interesting because all the setups are different. Oh my gosh, I can even see that things are different back in here. All right, let's just go ahead and start with Nibbles here. Oh look, hello rat. <laughs> You know, I, I get it when he's just laughing, it's kind of cool, but I like it better when he talks, and he's not following me at this short moment's notice. Let's go ahead and try that again. You. you can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you get a Okay, here we go. Well, his tracking is sort of working. <laughs> it's funny because when he's staring at you, he is literally staring straight at you with those beady eyes. And when he follows you, it is so creepy. All right, let's go ahead and come on over here and do Cotton Candy Dan. Come on, Mr. One-Eye. Attention all kiddos! Attention all kiddos! I found a lost parent! He belongs to anyone here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead through here and, well, I was gonna say let's do the Wheel of Fate, but I noticed that the little clicker thing is missing. And look who we have set up over here, guys. Check this out. First of all, we have Ghostface, but it's not the Ghostface animatronic. It's the one that actually lights up. His blade lights up, his eyes and mouth light up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he screams at you and scares the living crap out of you. He is actually pretty cool. If you don't want the animatronic itself, he is actually a really good backup plan. It appears his arm is just kind of hanging. Okay, somebody beat Ghostface. <laughs> All right, then we got the Night Terror over here. And guys, for some reason, I always want to call him the Death Stalker. I have no idea why. I know he's not the Death Stalker. The Death Stalker is completely different, but I always want to call him the Death Stalker. <laughs> I know, that is funny, right? <laughs> It just sounds like he laughs till he can't even breathe anymore. 
All right, let's go ahead over to the other side here because I see they have Max Straw waiting for us. <laughs> Someone's not turning their head. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the sitting scarecrow over here okay i see he has a uh, step pad there we go all right let's go ahead and give him some stickers for his bowl here there's a whole plethora for you sir well we got our stickers out let's put some in the bucket 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 let's give one to the spooky skeleton hand here if i can get it in there there you go and then let's go ahead back here and let's check out the animatronics that they have on the floor hold on there's more buckets bucket 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 dinosaur bucket 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 okay now let's start busting through these guys we have man's possessed friend right here we always have a man's possessed friend bubba we have a ringmaster back here with his giant clobbers. In fact, we have two ringmasters with his giant clobbers. We have two demonic gatekeepers. We have four stuffed dummy props. Bucket bucket oh back through here we have two more bubba's man's possessed friend we have the michael myers horror babies excuse me sir yes what are those? Ah! i can't believe i just got what are those we have the horror babies michael myers we have the horror babies pennywise here we have the walking hands both the gray one and the walking green monster hand all right look back here around this corner here we have some jumping spiders down here i see the two black ones right there and then we have more back here let's see we got the black and red right here we got the gray down here and we also have the brown look at this we got the 12 foot inflatable ghost face down here the giant hearse oh my gosh i got so much stuff here we got the inflatable purple hair clown with spinning eyes look at this we have two wanda webworths hiding over here we have a gravestone ghoul hiding over here and look at this this is why i look in every crack and crevice because behind the pose and stay skeletons look who i just discovered the dark princess or if you own her you know the inside of the box says dark er princess uh oh i see cauldrons sticker 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 and look what's hiding right here we have the halloween 2 pumpkin the skella pumpkin all right let's set him down here a minute and turn it around because on the back you can see where it says halloween 2 a lot of people have been looking for this guy he is very awesome. Oh, look at this. The first store that I have seen the animatronic IR beam activators in. Those are very cool. $24.99. I think I'm going to have to get these today. It's the only one I see on the shelf. Look at all the stuff they have over here, too. And they still have more, well, sort of animatronics. Another ghost face light up down here. A plethora of fogging skull piles. Another 12 foot inflatable ghost face right there. They have some of these haunted these things now i don't have one of these i actually have the pumpkin that sings but i don't see him but look who we have right here pumpkin nester doll very cool that's the first time i've seen one of him in these stores this season they have a lot of other dolls here devilish desmond eerie emma let's see they have pestilent pete P Penelope Pigtails. And there's another pumpkin nester hiding back there behind Matchstick Mary and Monkey Chimes. We have the Murderous Crows. We got the Clown Head on a rope. We have the Hook Head Hogs down here. We got these guys with nasty bad breath. And look who's watching us throughout the store. It's the Secret Keeping Cat. I think it's funny how they have a bag with one random bone. Excuse me, sir. Do you sell bones here? We do have one bone. <laughs> oh, look at this. We got the ghost face horror babies down here. We got three of them. We got a creeping cat peeking out down there. We have a plethora of zombie babies here, including the brain eater, who I think I've only seen in two stores this season. <clears throat> they have a plethora of sinister spirit dolls here and another Bubba hiding behind them. All right, let's make our way over to this side of the store here. Hello, lab rat. All right, let's come on back here and check the cracks and crevices for more hidden animatronics because sometimes they like to put them around the corners. Wow, this place is pretty stocked, guys. A lot of these aisles I can barely even make it through. Oh, they have the Jack the Reaper costume. 
And I don't point this out very often, but I love this little voodoo doll here. All right, no more animatronics that way from what I can see. We do have awesome Elvis Presley costumes here, including the glasses. And look at this. This is cool. I have actually been to Graceland and seen the actual outfit. That one right there that he legit wore on stage. Will we be getting business cards? The inflatable costumes are probably my favorite costumes in the entire store. Look at this. We've got Barney here. We've got Snoopy from the Peanuts. We got the rubber chicken and I think I actually have this one. We've got Gizmo here from Gremlins. Inflatable dinosaur, inflatable wavy arms guy. Party pooper inflatable. The ostrich inflatable. Looks like you're riding an ostrich. And this is one of my favorites right here. The Looney Tunes gigantic heart gossamer. Of course you can't forget about Spongebob and Patrick. Hey Patrick, are you mad? Yeah! Oh, and they also have the inflatable Garfield costume. I'd probably fit in that one. And we've got all the Scooby-Doo's. These are not inflatable, but you gotta love the Scooby-Doo costumes. ruh -roo. Let's like grab another skateboard and do it again, huh? Let's drop a couple more stickers here before we go. We'll put one in that basket. We'll put one in that basket. We'll put some in the skull funnel. Let's leave some for Beetlejuice. Some for the ghost. The ghost. The ghost. And let's leave a couple for the brain munchers. All right, guys, that is it for store number one in Salem, Massachusetts. Come on down here and get your stickers. I left at least a hundred of them in there. Yeah.